Hello fellow pipers, and welcome to How to Be a Frugal Pipe Smoker. Well, where do you start? First of all, you could just not smoke a pipe. That would save you a ton of money. Now, that's not any fun. So how can you have fun, save money, and enjoy a pipe? For the basics, corn cob is probably the cheapest route. Now you can go to Missouri Meerschaum or SmokingPipes.com and buy a brand new corn cob. But if you're looking to be frugal, estate pipes. Something like this, you're not going to see anymore. You're also going to come across brands that don't even exist anymore like the Dandy. Isn't she dandy? H&B. I've never heard. But you can pick these up for a couple bucks. Usually they're lightly smoked. Occasionally you come across some weird booth where you'll have like burnouts and missing stems and they still want like 20 bucks for them. Just walk away. But corn cob is the way to go for a cheap, reliable pipe. You do have to worry about burnouts. They will come. With filter or no filter, usually there's a birch, I believe it's birch, stem that looks like corn cob, but it's not. So, let's say you don't want a corn cob, but you want something that is really cool. Buying something like this, brand new, will cost you anywhere between 150 to 400 bucks. You don't want to spend that much, right? I got this puppy for 20 bucks. Where? Estate sale. So, brick and mortar, buying online, sure it's reliable, you're gonna find exactly what you want. But, being a cheap ass, this is the way to go. Estate sales, antique booths, and again, you're going to come across some really cool stuff that you're just not going to find anywhere else. These are from the 70s. They're called Venturi. They come in these really cool colors. They have a uh, ceramic style bowl. No filter. They're just a really cool pipe. And you can usually find these between somewhere, somewhere between 5 to 10 bucks. And... Missouri Meerschaum, if you're paying attention, bring back the corn dog, okay? I'm tired of mentioning this. You just brought back the Cobbit and the Elf, Elf Cobbit, but the, all your church wardens from Lord of the Rings, you just brought those back, bring back the corn dog. So, needing supplies. Again, I went to estate sales. Apparently, there's a bunch of old codgers out there who are either retiring or passing away, and they have a ton of extra stuff. You can get charcoal filters. You can get rum-flavored filters. You can get ready, regular Dr. Grabo, Medico filters, and it's going to be dirt cheap. Uh, tappers, like 50 cents to a dollar. Brand new corn cobs that have never been smoked. You're going to get those for a couple bucks. So let's get to tobacco. Everybody knows these look really cool. The tins, they just, you know, they're shiny, they're flashy. They have that popping sound when you open them. But really it's no different than... Yeah. Um, these are going to cost you a couple of dollars more than just buying in bulk. Uh, sure, you can store them, but you have to worry about them popping, losing the seal, and then everything dries out, and uh, your tobacco goes to crap. However, if you buy in bulk, you can get mason jars at a place like Goodwill for 50 cents. You're going to want a new seal, new ring. Those are only a couple bucks at your local grocery store. And for the cost of, what, under a dollar? 
you can permanently store your tobacco, airtight sealed, let it age in a dark, cool place, preferably a basement or a cellar of some kind, and uh, have tobacco for years to come. Is it worth paying because it looks cool? Well, for this brand, no. Uh, universally, I think everyone believes this brand sucks. Don't sue me. Make better tobacco and maybe we'll talk about it. On the other hand, you also have this company. Yeah, I'm plugging this again. Actually, I just had it out. It was available. Why not? It's also at the number one spot. Congratulations, guys. I don't know if my review had anything to do with that, but uh, smokingpipes.com, number one, selling 10 right now. Uh, Cornell and Deal has these awesome cans. They seal up. You have to pop them open. Occasionally, depending on how they are stored, the gases will build up and it will break the seal. So you do have to check these as well. However, I store mine 50, 55 degrees, somewhere around there, because I actually have a basement. Never had that happen. So these tins are reliable, but most of their stuff is available in bulk. Except for this one. So, again, 100% completely reliable. Very rarely do you have a bad seal on these things. These, this, not so much. If you're not picky, if you're just, I want some tobacco, and I want it now, there's the OTC blends over the counter. Now, there's Lane, there's Prince Albert, uh, Carter Hall, half and half, fairly cheap, uh, even with taxes and everything, like three to four dollars, you're paying any more than that, you're getting ripped off. Captain Black, of course, is going to cost more for the simple reason that it's, I don't know, Captain Black. Why is Captain Black so expensive? I don't get it. It's insane. It's horribly stupid. So anyways, you can try the OTC blends, which are readily available at any gas station, Walgreens, Rite Aid, um, grocery stores for the most part. And a lot of them are uh, distributed by the Scandinavian Tobacco Group, which means that it's probably never going to disappear. So, I think that is about it. If you're looking for really nice briars or meerschaum pipes, not, not Mer Missouri meerschaum, but actual meerschaum pipes, um, again, estate sales, uh, antique booths, uh, there's tons of videos on how to refurbish these. They work just like brand new if you do it correctly. And uh, I've gotten really lucky and found some fairly new pipes uh, for super, super cheap. So keep your eyes out for that. And uh, I would suggest staying away from places like eBay or shopgoodwill.com. Um, because you just don't know what you're getting. If you're going to buy online, buy something new or refurbished from like Smoking Pipes, uh, TobaccoPipes.com. Uh, it's going to be pricey, but it's going to be reliable. On the other hand, if you're going to some place where you can actually look at the pipes, figure out what you need to do, how to clean it, if the stems are broken, if there's any chance that they're looking, it has a... A spot that's burning out in person's best and uh, you can determine that yourself so how to be a frugal pipe smoker buy in bulk corn cob is best if uh, if that's the route you want to take cheaper tobacco that you prefer and um, don't buy the tins just not worth it also Check out some dead guy stuff. Works out for me. Now on that note, remember, take care of yourselves. Keep on typing.